Hi everyone. I'm getting ready to make a new batch of soap. This is going to be called Cotton Candy Girl. I'm using two new fragrance oils by Indigo Fragrance, Candy Girl and Cotton Candy. I have my lye cooled down and my oils cooled down, so I'm just going to go ahead and set up my camera so that way we can do one continuous flowing video. I'll be right back. All right, as I said, I have my oils cooled down and my lye cooled down. We're using two new fragrance oils today, Cotton Candy and Candy Girl. Now, as I explained in my previous videos, I do wear gloves when I actually mix the lye in my liquid solution. I don't wear gloves when I'm mixing it with my batter. The longer I wear gloves, the more numb my hands become and sometimes I slip and lose my stick blender. So that's why I choose not to wear gloves. I want you guys to use your safety precautions as you feel necessary. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and take my lye that I have and mix it in with my oils. Now you might wanna turn your, um, your volume down because I'm gonna stick blend to a light trace and it can be um, a little loud. simple batch. I am going to mix my color which is just going to be a base color of Starlight Night. Um, it's a nice uh, sparkle color and then what I'm actually going to do, let's see if you can see it, is I'm going to use Jehovah Beads for my actual colors. So I have pink here and I have purple. And then I'm going to add some color sprinkles on top for a nice little effect. So it's going to be a real simple batch. It's one container, which I love, easy cleanup. into my mold. Now what we're checking for with the fragrance oil is to make sure that it doesn't rice my soap, that it doesn't discolor my soap, that it doesn't seize my batch, that it doesn't accelerate trace, and of course that the scent holds up. If you can see it. Oh, let me pull it away a little. That's Starlight Night. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Now I have come to learn that YouTube has a 15 minute time limit on any videos that you make. That's why I couldn't show you the cutting of my last soap that I made because I didn't, I went over the time limit. So I'm going to be very cautious as to what my time constraints are. So that way I can show you through and through what, um, you know, from making the soap to cutting the soap, what the process is. Purple, stir them in. 
and then the pink. Now the Jehovah beads will ask, add for a nice exfoliation throughout the bar. And I figured instead of using micas, I would use this for my colorant. Seeing that I'm calling it Cotton Candy Girl, I thought it'd be a fun um, little um, bar of soap when it has just little speckles of color in it. All right. So here is my batter. Let's see. Let me move this stuff out of the way. See if you can see it with the nice little uh, drops of pink and purple in there. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my scent. And again, I'm making sure that there's no rising, that there's no discoloration, that it doesn't accelerate trace, that the scent holds up, and that it doesn't seize my batch. I like blending. Um, my fragrance oils because it makes for a nice strong scented bar. I love when the soap is really strong. I do make some lighter scents, but um, I get so used to the way my soap smells that with the lighter scents I tend to not be able to smell anything. And I like to know that my customers can smell the bars of soap. I like when people walk by and they can smell it as they're walking by. This smells really good. And so far it's excellent. There's no rising. It has not accelerated my trace. It has not seized the batch. And it hasn't discolored my soap. Let me see if I can show you guys so you can see, because I'm gonna go ahead and get ready just to pour this into the mold. So that's my batter. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in. I haven't made a real simple soap in a while. I usually like doing all the hoopla with the decorations and stuff. Sorry, camera slipped. Let me go tap this over here. So that way the camera doesn't fall down. Sees the last portion of my soap, the very last portion. That's okay, we can work with that. Let me grab my tools here. I'm just gonna flatten this down to the best to my ability. I'm glad I added the fragrance oil last. Okay. It smells incredible, but it did the last portion here. You can tell it really set up my soap in this glass portion here. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna have to flatten this down the best we can. Mommy, look. All right, Lorenzo, Mommy's making soap. I asked you to be quiet, okay? It's my son. He sits home with me. See, you can always work with things when the gremlins want to pop out. I am just glad I added the fragrance very last because then it allows me to work with it. And I'm glad I did a simple, a simple, simple bar soap. 
batch of soap actually. Not bars yet, so I'll cut it. So I'm gonna get some more paper towels. I'm just gonna clean up the sides here. And then we're gonna add the colored sprinkles on top. So cotton candy and candy girl mixed together. At first, didn't seem to be doing anything to my soap, but after the first pour, um, it set it up, it accelerated extremely fast and seized the last portion of my soap. Um, now what happens when it seizes is it gets extremely hard. As you can see, I had to work it back in to my, um, I had to maneuver it and smooth it out kind of like icing on a cake and it's still, I don't know if you can tell, very hard. Um, so that's what seizing a batch is. And had I poured my fragrance oil in prior to adding my colorant and my um, prior to adding my colorant, then I would have been in worse shape. But I didn't, I added the fragrance oil after I poured my colorant and was ready to pour it into the mold. So it worked out okay. And it is, it'll turn out fine. It'll saponify, it will set up like it normally does. I'm just gonna add some fun little confetti on top. Push it in. It smells really good. It didn't discolor the soap, it didn't rice, just accelerated trace and seized it a little bit towards the end there. So just be careful with those oils. But otherwise, sorry, that's in the way. I think there's a fun soap. I was very ambitious today. I did, prior to doing this, two batches of hot process soap. So I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see. And here is the finished product. I'm gonna set it aside for 24 hours and then cut it and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so now it's time to cut the soap. So we're gonna go ahead and just use my cutter here and just press all the way through. Smells really good, but here we go. You can see just a little bit of the speckles of the pink and purple kelp beads that I use, but the scent is incredible. Honey. So that's Cotton Candy Girl. Thanks for watching.